All right, so down here at Mormon's, at my boat ramp, not mine, but the one I always go to, might as well be mine. I'll take it, thank you. You know, it's about three o'clock in the afternoon, and like I said before, none of my videos are planned. They're sporadic. I never have a plan for anything. Not even getting married, it just happened. I'm actually meeting a buddy down here. That's him right there, I can see him. He's kind of a mix between Tyler Childers and Kevin Nash, the wrestler, so pretty cool dude. He has an aluminum triton. I found one last week that uh, a fella selling in North Carolina, and I've only rode one like once or something like that. My guy right here has got one, you know, aluminum bass boat. The one I'm looking at is actually a uh, Triton. A uh, guy in North Carolina's got it. Pretty good price. It also has a Mercury. Got a 115 on this one, but that's all good. It still gets you down the pike. It'll go 47. Yep. So this is my buddy right here, Kevin Nash. He used to wrestle. No, it's David Hash, I think. He used to uh, be in the, all the Cheech and Chong movies. Everyone, but anyway, we're gonna try this boat out. We're gonna do some fishing, and um, we'll see if I wanna purchase a Triton aluminum bass boat. I will. What, what is this? 18? 18 8. Got rods, but we're gonna fish around and ride around in this boat, see how it handles. It's aluminum, staying true to my roots, not getting rid of my John boat either. No, no, no. So let me go get my rods. Pretty good little ride. Nice and easy, smooth. Rides good. Aluminum for life. Tattoo I'm getting. Monster. Got him one. Look. Got him one on the old spinner. <laughs> you want to take him home to eat? Huh? Look, right now, boy. Oh. Oh, hey, hey. Go oh, hey, hey, Get back. Get back. All right, so let's go ahead and just check out the back compartments of this um, Triton TX18 or whatever it's called. Right here's a cooler. We've been. We got all our waters and duck peppers and whatnots in there. Ice has been in here since probably 12 o'clock, 11:30. It's like a little Yeti cooler in there. It holds the uh, yeah, it holds ice pretty good. Dr. Peppers and the waters are nice and cool. And then this compartment, this is on the back as well. This is your live well, which is huge. It's huge, I say. That's a pretty decent live well um easily store five to ten fish in it no problem i will say this you can plumb load this thing down with crappy that's what i'm saying you could easily fit 50 crappy in there nice little live well in the uh in the triton aluminum boat over here on this side you, you tell me if you don't want me going through some of this shit over here this is a trash box you can definitely tell. <laughs> it's a ooh. Dang, smells like Bigfoot. So yeah, this could be another compartment where you could soft plastics and just another compartment. So uh, that's what that compartment. Now back here, the business end, he keeps his batteries. And there's your gas tank. How many uh, gallons? 26 gallon tank, something like that. Two interstate batteries. Did you get them off Jamie Brew? I like it, that's what I'm running in my boat is. And, oh, he got three. He got three. My bad. He got three interstate batteries. So that's a gas tank in the battery compartment back here. So for an aluminum boat, like I said, it's got right much storage. And that's that's the Mercury 115. That is a very, very nice motor. There's your gas right here. Put your gas in right there. So yeah, it's a tight little boat. You've got the um, center rod compartment right here. Which you can put, you can get an eight foot rod up in here. Pretty spacious there. I mean, it's, you know, like I said, it's a center rod locker right in the middle of the boat. It's like a two, four, six. You can put eight rods or, you know, you could probably do a hack on it. Probably unscrew that and put 20. I mean, it's pretty deep. And then we'll shut this. Lock this down. So right here, what you laughing at, man? What you laughing? Uh, so right here we have another storage compartment and it's freaking huge i mean it goes on back in there and he's got it not even halfway full not even, not even. still a lot of bait so i mean that's you know for a big compartment like that you could really load this load this compartment down so that's on the left side of it then over here is another compartment same size life jackets rain gear nets 
rope. Looks like some cold weather gear down there. More life jackets, which, uh, yeah, I mean, that's pretty good, uh, pretty good size. So this boat came uh, upgraded with the Ultrex, uh, the Minn Kota Ultrex on it, and it has the spot lock, as you can see, and the Lowrance, what is that? The Elite? The Elite yeah. That's the Elite 9, is that a 9-inch? Yeah. So he had that, so everything you see on this boat came with the boat which was mostly upgrades. I'll show you his trailer too, cause he's got, he's got them rims on it. He's got the rims. It's clean. Dang it, clean. Windshield here, uh, Maple Ridge Landscapes. My, my man owns a landscaping company. He, he does, yeah, y'all need a job. Got three seats right here. Rods for the uh, co-angler, which he's not a fan of. Says it's a little small, but you know, good size deck on it. I mean, that deck's probably what, five foot wide? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. And it fishes great, man. Fishes great. Here's the, the console. And you, uh, it's got the Elite 7 in here. Really nice looking console. Your lights, bilge, live wells, recirculator, mile per hour, gas gauge. You got your speedometers never work on a freaking bass boat, dude. Second day, second day. We got to do something about that because no speedometer has ever worked on any of my bass boats. But there's his RPMs, his trim right there. Six, uh, 12 volt right here for cell phone chargers, whatever. It's his, that's his horn. Damn, that sounds like a sounds like a game warden. Shit, that scared me. It's a badass steering wheel, boy. Rolling. Oh, it's got tilt. It's got tilt on it. Yeah. Hell yeah. Bottle control right here. And he's got a hot foot in it. That hot foot right there got fire. So that's pretty much the uh, end tour. We didn't catch, well, we did catch fish. Yeah. This, this small one. He doesn't come up here a bunch. And I haven't been up here in a couple weeks. So that's our excuse and we're sticking to it. Right now, there's both of us up here on this front deck. So I'm really considering about getting that trike. I'm thinking about it. I have to, I've had a career change. So I'm making sure all my stuff is lined up in a row and I'm gonna go look at it. And if I like it, I might pick it up. And if I don't, then I'll just stay in the 10 killer. Thanks to uh, David Hash for having me out and letting me check his boat out and fishing a little bit. Appreciate y'all watching. Catch me on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, never on Twitter. And until next time, we'll catch you on the flip flop. Spit all over the camera. <laughs> Don't edit that out. Yeah, yeah. They, oh God, that's a small mouth. That is a tank of a small mouth. On the spinnerbait. Get you there, girl. All right, that was a bass that came out there, baby. Good. Really nice, man. Yeah. I am up to hey. invisible grounds. Don't know when to stop. Returning. It's not the way for me.